Are you afraid to fail? I've just come off a coaching call with my group and one of the things that they were talking about and mentioning quite a bit was this idea that they were procrastinating and not doing the things they know they need to do in order to get the results they want to get. And when it came down to it was that they were afraid to fail. So I'm going to share with you three phrases that as an engineer that I use that help me overcome my fear of failure. So the first starts with like being an entrepreneur and it starts with the, the classic engineering statement or uh, phrase, which is there must be a better way of doing this. And that's probably the reason you're in business because you want to, you know that you can help people. There's something of value that you can offer to the world. So that's the first. So what's the value that you're offering? What's the better way that you're presenting? The second classic thing that an engineer says, which is slightly scary, and it's this one. It's like, I wonder what will happen if I try this. Immediately followed by the third, which is, oh, shit, I never thought that would happen. <laughs> and so, but what does this mean when you put it together in terms of your business? What it means is the, I wonder what will happen if I try this. Apply that to your marketing, to your getting out there. Do you're doing your TikToks like my TikToks, like, I don't know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're shitty. They just are what they are. And I just thought, well, I'm just going to keep doing them. I wonder what will happen if I do this. And if you do that with all of your marketing, if you just view it that it's, I wonder what will happen if I try this. This isn't a, I'm going to do this and it has to succeed. Otherwise, the world is a terrible place and I am going to die. And which you won't, you won't. It's just, I wonder what will happen if I do this. I wonder what will happen if I try this. It just gives you kind of curiosity. And then the last one, you know, the, oh shit, I never thought that would happen. Now, sometimes that might be, oh shit, I never thought that would happen. Good thing. And it might be, oh, that's not so good. But it's still data. It's still information. Gather the data. Recycle. Must be a better way of doing this. Wonder what will happen if I try this. Oh, look what happened. You don't have to swear. I swear a lot. I grew up in Australia. We swear a lot. Anyway, I'm Lisa Turner from Set Freedom. If you are wanting to learn more about how to be a set practitioner, go and check my link, linky things in the linky bio thing, the link tree thing, and click like and follow for more. Huge love. Bye.